Okay, so Bart K made a video kind of going after me saying that I'm incorrect and I don't know what I'm talking about in this field. So let's kind of hear what he has to say and then let's put him right where he's wrong. Do not. Do you think that fluids contain hydrogen ions, which they don't? Okay, so the very first video that you critiqued of mine over a year ago, what was the very first thing that I said of how acid exists? Let's hear it. They exist as hydronium ions. Oh, congratulations. Well, we should have said that in the first place. Okay, so... You saying that I don't know what I'm talking about by saying hydrogen ions, you clearly know that I know that they exist as hydronium ions because it's the very first video that you critiqued of mine a year ago, and that's the very first thing that I said. Also, if you take a look here, this is a paper I published back in 2021. And you can see, let's look up here, hydronium ion. Oh, what did I write here and publish in the academic literature? that protons actually exist as H3O plus hydronium cations, okay? And I state it again here, as mentioned previously, hydrogen ions, which are technically bound to water as H3O plus are called hydronium ions. So I published this back four years ago. So you trying to say that I don't know um, that, they, that hydrogen ions don't exist in, in biological fluids, you know is false. I published this four years ago that they do. And I also stated in my very first video a year ago, talking about acid-base balance, that they actually exist as hydronium ions. I've said this many times. So my followers already understand this. You know that I already understand this, but you're just trying to make it seem like I don't know what I'm talking about. So that's why I don't always say hydronium ion when I'm explaining things because it's, it's already been said before. But moving forward, if you're going to continually just nitpick that, then yes, I can actually state hydronium ions every single time that I say it. But most textbooks, et cetera, use the term hydrogen ion or proton. Um, but they actually exist as hydronium ions, as clearly via my publications and the first video that you ever watched of mine, I stated right in the beginning. Okay. You can't understand the difference between who's making a positive claim and who isn't. False. You're a liar. False. You're a coward. False. You stated it numerous times in your last video that I'm just doing this to sell calcium supplements. I've never once ever promoted or pushed a calcium supplement in my entire life. So that was a complete lie and you should correct that. You've got a very serious ego problem. Sorry about that. Well, I'm not. sorry. What's next? So how have you proven me wrong? Well, James, you said we produce acid. No, we don't. No, no. I'll use a catch term acid. So in the field of metabolic acidosis, we use the term net acid excretion. So what we're actually eliminating are weak acids as they're considered, ammonium, because ammonium can dissociate into ammonia and protons. And I'll cover that in a second. And H2PO4 dihydrogen phosphate, which is also considered a weak acid but they're ions that we excrete, but we also do excrete uric acid. So you stated that we do not excrete acid out in the urine. That is completely false. We 100% do because on a carnivore diet, your urinary pH will be five and uric acid will be 70% undissociated. It will actually be uric acid. Most of it will be uric acid and 30% at a pH of five urinary pH will be dissociated. So you are false to say we don't excrete acid out in the urine. We 100% do as uric acid. The other quote unquote acid that we're excreting, which I've published as well and have clarified this, is mostly via ammonium and dihydrogen phosphate. But that's not, I'm not saying that we're actually excreting the acid form of those substances. I'm not actually saying we're excreting sulfuric acid, etc. Never said that. So that's incorrect. So number one, we are excreting ions, yes, but they are considered weak acids, ammonium and dihydrogen phosphate. And we actually do excrete an acid called uric acid, 70% undissociated at a urinary pH of five. So you're completely false that we don't excrete acid. We do as uric acid. Okay, so, so you're wrong about me not knowing about hydronium ions. I do. You're wrong about me pushing calcium supplements. That was a lie. You're also wrong that we don't excrete acid out in the urine. We 100% do as uric acid. So you're wrong again, three times right away. Fact. 
You said False we number. produce ammonia. No, we don't. We 100% produce ammonia. Now, you state that if the pK is two points higher than the pH, that it doesn't exist, that the ammonia does not exist. That is false. That is false. It exists at 1.4% at a pH of 7.4. In the cell where it's created, which is a pH of 7.2, it's about 0.9%. And in the cytoplasm, which is the pH of about 7, it'll be about 0.6%. So completely false that we do not produce ammonia. That is false. And I can show you here as well. Uh, let's get this up here, right here. Okay, so here's the paper. It's titled Renal, Renal Ammonia Metabolism. And it'll, it'll show you the percentage. So yes, the relative amounts of ammonia and ammonium is dependent on the pH of the fluid. Yes, that's true. This reaction occurs essentially instantaneously has a pKa under biological relevant conditions of about 9.15. Yes, the majority of ammonia is ammonium, but at a pH of 7.4, 1.7% is actually present as ammonia. So yes, we 100% produce ammonia. It's completely false when you say, state that it does not exist at all if it's above two points. That's not true. It's usually about 1% or less. So... Another statement, this is the fourth one now that I can prove false. And anyone can look this up. Anyone can say, does ammonia actually exist in the body? And it'll give you the percentages based on the pH. There's no definitive cutoff that as, as soon as you hit two points above the pK being two points above the pH, that it no longer exists at all. That's false. You have to look at the actual percentage that exists. It's low, 1.7% at a pH of 7.4, but it still exists. So you're, you're wrong again about this. So the whole point is, is that you're trying to say that we don't produce acid and this and this and that. It's just nitpicky stuff. You know what I'm talking about when I'm saying these things because you've critiqued me and then in the first video and I stated hydronium ion. So to me, this is all just bluster. It's, it's, it, it, to me, it's just for clicks. And every single one of your statements has been proven false. And also, anyone can look up the alkaline tide, how the parietal cell utilizes and makes, you know, it takes the reaction of CO2 and water, forms carbonic acid, and then that will dissociate to the hydronium ion and bicarbonate. And the hydronium ion will be pushed from the parietal cell right into the stomach for to make it more acidic. And at the same time, we produce bicarbonate, which gets absorbed into our bloodstream. That's how exogenous bicarbonate makes us alkaline. It's through the alkaline tide. Anyone can look this up. It's, it's well known. So this, I'm not going to go through 50 minutes to where you finally get to that point, but anyone can look up alkaline tide and how the parietal cell produces hydronium ion and also produces bicarbonate at the same time. And so when you take exogenous bicarbonate, you are depleting the hydronium ions in, these, in the stomach. The parietal cell will make more hydronium ions to get it back up to baseline, but at the same time, it produces more bicarbonate, which hits the blood and alkalinizes the body. And that is how exogenous bicarb works. So again, very easy to disprove these ridiculous claims that I don't know what I'm talking about. So he was wrong that I don't know about hydronium ions. I've published that four years ago. He's wrong about that we don't excrete acids out in the urine. We 100% excrete uric acid. And the most of the hydronium ions that we're excreting are being excreted as what are called weak acids. You can look up ammonium and dihydrogen phosphate. They are considered weak acids. Yes, they are ions too. Again, this is just nitpicky stuff though. And you can look up that, yes, we do produce ammonia. It's a small percentage, but we still produce it. There's no definitive cutoff that if you're two points higher that uh, for, the, for the pKa higher than pH, that um, it won't exist, that ammonia won't exist. That is false. Now, anyone can look this up. Uh, and completely incorrect on the alkaline tide. So that's four things that you were wrong on and very easy to disprove.